how much can a fitting impact your performance? Well, today we have Taylor with us to hit a couple of drivers. One is fit for her swing and one is not. We will see what the TrackMan data tells us. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You give this video a like and you drop a comment and tell us about your fitting experience and how much it helped you. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Taylor Ledwine, a master fitter for our online fitting and support team. And Taylor, this is going to be a fun one because um, we recently published a video on the channel of your uh, What's in the Bag. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the unique things out of that was your driver and the uh, unique adjustments that you've made to your driver. So uh, for the viewers that haven't seen that yet, uh, maybe explain a little bit about uh, your driver and the different things that are um, unique about it in terms mm -hmm. of the, the fitting adjustments you've made. So I play the 10 and a half degree ping G425 Max LST, mm -hmm. um, but I have it set to the highest loft it can go, which I believe is 12 degrees. Uh, but then I also have the back weight set in the draw setting with lead tape on the heel because I missed to the right. Yeah, so that, that setup is very much geared to avoid that right side. Yes. So uh, today we thought it'd be fun for you to take this uh, ping G425 LST a standard in the 10 and a half degrees mm -hmm. um, as it kind of normally comes stock, right? Yeah. Hit your shots with this and then go to your gamer mm -hmm. and see the differences. So um, I guess what would you expect to see difference wise? I know you mentioned maybe not missing right. So you kind of think you're going to go right a little bit with this kind of stock driver? Yeah, I feel like kind of with this one, you will see the dispersion more on the right side of the fairway. Yeah. Um, also potentially kind of the loft of my drives just to be a little bit lower. Yeah. Um, Cause that's kind of why I have it set to 12 degrees cause I don't get it very high in the air. Right. So, so. you're kind of trying to increase that, that launch maybe a little yep. bit with that, that extra loft. Okay. Yeah. Um, interesting. Well, the viewers, um, if you, I'm sure you have your own predictions about what will happen, but uh, we'll have Taylor hit some shots with each driver and then we'll come back. We'll discuss the numbers and see what the difference is. Oh, wow. I mean, those are some good tee shots. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't complain. They're, they're, they're like low and piercing ball flight, but yeah. you know, you get it on a firm golf course, that's probably the winner. It's like you're hitting more ball speed even. Yeah, it's kind of the lead tape makes it a little heavier. Mm. So I can get a little bit more ball speed. That was pretty good. All right, so Taylor, uh, testing complete there, a uh, unique one as we talked about. Um, first, if you can kind of describe is there anything that you saw visually or even in the feel mm -hmm. of those two drivers? Obviously, the, the gamer one you're very comfortable with, but going to the stock driver, 10 and a half degrees, did you notice the, the loft was different or the face looked different uh, when you were hitting them? Yeah, I didn't really notice a huge difference in the face, the weight a little bit, because okay. the lead tape on mine sure. versus the non, the non-fit driver was a little bit lighter. Yeah. But setup, I don't, you know, I didn't really feel much of a difference. Okay. I think the one, the non-fit one's a little bit shorter. Yeah. Um, but I gripped down a little bit on mine unless it's right. on a par five, so didn't really notice anything that way. So really just the weight of the club head. Right, yeah, and I don't think we, I don't know if we mentioned it or not at the beginning, but your your gamer driver is also 46 inches with the, the golf shaft. So mm -hmm. that is longer than standard as well. So, and you had previously said too in the, in the uh, in our What's in the Bag video that you actually played a 48 inch driver or 47 inch 47, driver before yeah. the uh, rule was made. So um, to go back down to 46. So that's another unique aspect of this. But mm -hmm. we have the numbers up on the track man here and some some kind of, I think some of the findings we saw that we kind of expected maybe. Yeah. Um, and I think the, the most important one that I'm noticing here is the spin, right? Because when you go up a degree and a half, you get a little bit more spin. And I think that's probably more of a window that you're looking at or kind of trying to be at probably a little over 2,000 there. Yeah, that's a really good number for me with that uh, launch and everything. I'm not getting too much spin, um, but I am getting that little bit more just because mm -hmm. I'm hitting it at a little bit higher loft. Right, so. and then uh, we did see, I mean, again, this is these are fractionally different, but the yeah. carry number a little bit higher there, so a little bit more distance just because of that extra mm -hmm. um, launch that you're seeing. And then, you know, we try not to focus too much on the total just because, you know, that's, for example, if you're on a firm course, yeah, right. you know, you're gonna get more rollout in that 
carry number being further is going to mean a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, so things like that. But um, one thing we should also bring up here too uh, is that dispersion wrap, right? So <laughs> yeah. um, this was kind of the key part that we wanted to look at um, because, you know, like we mentioned, a lot of the adjustments on your driver are designed to move that ball right to left mm -hmm. um, and avoid the right. And so it's funny that we you hit those five shots with the stock driver and every single one of them was right at the center line there. Yeah. So I just, I could feel a little bit with the club face and um, a little bit just is my swing tendency to hit it to the right. Yeah. Um, and I know that, so that's mainly why most of them are right. Yeah. But yeah, you can see all with the white dots there that they are to the right. And then when I get to the orange, mm -hmm. there are a few to the right over there, but the vast majority of them are just next to the line or on the left yeah. side. So there are those few that I do when I'm playing in a tournament or just rounds for fun that I do, you know, kind of hit far to the right because yeah. that's my tendency miss but um, typically when I'm playing they are pretty close to the center or just a little bit left like that. Yeah and I think I mean we clearly see there that tendency to go left shows up mm -hmm. with um, the you know the, the fitting that you got for yourself with this driver and you know clearly there's the tendency out to the right you went five for five right of center with um, with that other driver so mm -hmm. or the the non-fit so uh, cool to see that come to, to fruition here with this test um, and so I think it's it's one of those things where are you I guess your your maybe your standard swing is kind of almost a little in or uh, uh, in to out, yeah. yeah. So uh, just the, that that extra weight in the heel, perhaps, and that uh, you know the the back setting into that the draw um, towards the heel, and also the lead tape maybe mm -hmm. helps you close that face just a little bit to create more of a draw, or even just start the ball a little bit more towards the center versus out to the right. Yeah. So my swing, I kind of come in to out, and I also kind of flick at it. Yeah. Uh, so my face just it's hard for it to get more square. Mm -hmm. So like you had mentioned, the weight and the tape and everything just tries to get it a little bit more kind of facing towards the center of the fairway or wherever I'm aiming, yeah. just to try and get it around and keep it kind of on that line. Yeah, sure. Well, this was um, a very interesting test here. I think we saw some pretty cool numbers. Um, and it's one of those that I think, you know, we always talk about how much a fitting can do for someone. Mm -hmm. um, this was a, you know, again, a small sample size. We're hitting five shots with each, but I think um, the idea for you is to hit the ball not to the right and yeah. we saw Three of those shots were right down the middle here with a little draw, and I think that's exactly what you're trying to get out of that that uh, those adjustments that you made. So, mm -hmm. golfers, if you are interested in a fitting, you want to see these corrections in your game, schedule that fitting at Second Swing. You can get fit in our store, or you can get fit with someone like Taylor over the phone, and uh, we'll get your game dialed in, hit better tee shots, more fairways, and shoot lower scores. Taylor, thank you for stopping in today, hitting the shots. Um, this is a pretty cool demonstration. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for having me.